Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is one. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so on Wednesday, um, the youth led the prayer service, and you know, youth don't usually show up um, for that on Wednesdays. We all just think that that's like an older folks thing, I guess. I don't know. But uh, Rev wanted us to show up, and he wanted us to get up and lead the service and just go up and talk about how thankful for we are and he talked about how he wanted us to, in our prayers, not to ask for anything, but to be thankful and recognize how blessed we are. So I just wanted to say a prayer before um, we started to sing this song. So if you could bow your heads, please. Thank you, God, for another day, for waking us up and allowing us to be here this morning. Thank you for giving us a church home to come praise you in, and thank you for allowing us to make it here to see another Sunday so we could come to your house and praise you. And um, I just want to thank you for getting me to where I am and getting me through all of my sickness. And thank you for granting me health because now I know that's not something to take for granted. 
thank you for healing me and giving me the treatment that I need to feel better. And thank you for allowing me to have a church home to come express my gratitude and to do it with other younger people that are also very grateful. And thank you for giving us the opportunity and the place and the chance to just display our love for you. And in your name I pray, amen. You 
Hello, everyone. Did you thank God today for what you may ask for? for? For anything other than your last meal? Sometimes I can go an entire day without remembering God even once, much less thanking him for his many gifts. The prayer of thanksgiving is an act of giving thanks. Grateful acknowledgments of benefits or favors, especially to God. It is not happy people who are thankful. It is happy thank it is thankful people who are happy. Throughout the Bible, we are reminded to give thanks to the Lord. I have found a few scriptures in the Bible that represent the prayer of thanksgiving. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. And whatever you do, whether in the Lord our deed, do it all in the name of, of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. One of my favorite verses, one of my favorite verses when thinking about being thankful to God is the first part of Acts 17, verses 28. For in him we live and move and exist. You are alive today by the power of God. You got out of the bed today, perhaps took a shower, got dressed for school or work, and ate breakfast, all because God is actively sustaining you. You exist because he continues to will that you exist. Realizing this give, gives a completely new perspective to Jesus' word. Apart from me, you can do nothing. When you remind yourself just how much God has given you and just how much you need him for everything, you just can't help but thank him. Okay. I want you to try something for a minute. Close your eyes, focus on your breathing, and take a few deep breaths. With each, each breath, I want you to simply pray, thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, do it now. Seriously, stop looking around and do it. I can wait. For most of us, being able to breathe is probably at the top of the list of things we take for granted. However, each breath, my bad. However, each breath you take is a gift from God. Thanking, taking time to thank God for the most fundam, for the most necessity of life can help remind us to have a heart of thankfulness. Whether it's the air you breathe, the day's sunrise, or the embrace of a friend or loved one, thank God today for something you normally would think, take for granted. It's easy to thank God when everything is as it should be. 
but chances are some of you sitting in here are going through some dark days right now. What do you do when you just when you just don't feel like saying thank you for what's going on in your life? Here's two things to think about. God not only said to give thanks and everything, he also says Ooh, I don't know how this is. Eat, eat what's this? <laughs> to give thanks for everything. James chapter 1 through 2, 2 through 4 tells us that we should consider it a great joy. When we face hard times because God uses those hard times to strengthen our faith. For reasons, we will not always understand God use difficult circumstances to make us more like Jesus. As Paul said in Romans 5, hard times refine our faith to produce endurance, proving character and hope. We should, thank, we should thank him that he cares for us enough to grow us in our faith and not leave us here we, as we are. Remember the example of David. In Psalms 116, David is praising God for rescuing him from death. In verse 17, David tells God he will offer him a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Sometimes saying thank you to God in hard times is really difficult, acknowledging this difficulty to God and then him thank him anyways. Remember his sacrifice. When all else fails, there's always something you can thank God for the sacrifice of Jesus for your sins. You were once God's enemy, but now you are his friend. You were once a child of wrath, but now you are a child of righteousness. You were once destined for eternal death, but now you have eternal life. Even in your darkest hour, you can thank God. You don't have to face that dark hour alone. Praise God and thank you, Jesus. He who offers the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. Thank you, Jesus. I am so thankful for our young people. They just, I'm not even up here to do this, but I just love our young people. They are just really showing us what, we, what, uh, what they can do. And, and, and it just kind of makes the whole thing, you know, come to fruition. We have people coming behind us. And, and, and I don't know if you know that, but that is a truly a blessing to have young people and growing young people in the way that we are. God is so good. Amen. But I'm up here for an entirely different reason. I just had to say that. It, it started Wednesday night when my heart got so heavy and they was up here just doing all the little, oh, Jesus, it was just so wonderful. But I'm right, right now, we're going to do the uh, special recognition for the veterans first. And we just want to thank our veterans. They're sitting right here in the center. Look at them. Uh, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. We are so proud of you. God is so good. He has blessed us to have a group of veterans here, and we just want to thank all of you that has been in the military or is still in the military for your service. And this uh, day was set aside to recognize you because being in the military has not been an easy task for some of you. You know, a lot of you had to go to war and be away from your family, but it's just a blessing that you made it through, and we're so glad that you're back here with us today. Amen. Now, one of the, before we, we have some music, I think, for the military, the different branches of service, as you hear your song, your military song, if you remember, 
Uh, we're asked. <laughs> We're asking you to stand, and I'm going to help you because I think we start with the Army. Sheila, are they ready up there? Okay. Sheila, say yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to start. Uh, just a minute. Just give them a minute. Let's see if you recognize your song. And why did I know all these songs? I'm real worried. Why did I know the words to all these songs? I'm going, who taught me them? I didn't know I knew those words. <laughs> okay. I wanted the music to go along with it. Y'all want me to play it up here? Sheila? You want me to play it up here? I got it. You sent it to me, didn't you? There? Okay. Let me turn it. I got it. Okay. That was not mine. That was not me. That was up there. And it stopped. Okay. Because mine takes me to the Play mine. Is that what you're saying, Sheila? Play mine? Okay. Hold it up there. Okay. Okay, come on. I do have it right here, Sheila. Make it come up. Maybe they got it. Are we okay up there? I don't know why mine don't play. It was playing a while ago. I had it playing outside. Okay, we're not going to get the music, doesn't seem like it, but uh, we want to start. I guess if you turn the sound up, you can hear music. Okay. No, leave this alone. Thank you. That's mine. That's the army. I didn't mess up the mic. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to touch that. I'm just mm -hmm. Amen. praising the band. If, if we don't get the music, just recognize individual okay. branches. Did it stop? Yours don't play. In. Yours don't okay. play in just, there. Just recognize indi okay. individual branches. The okay. She said it's not playing over there, so. We want to recognize first the uh, Army. If you were in the Army, would you please stand? Praise the Lord. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Brother Simonton has his flag up. He said he was in the Army. <laughs> Don't miss, he didn't stand up, but you know we can't all, everybody can't stand up. Y'all recognize, recognize. Okay, this is our army people. Did we, uh, we're passing out. Now that's a good one. We are on, the, that's good. We got to
the army. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, next we have the Navy. I think Army must have been one of the first organizations that was formed, one of the military organizations, because it was formed in 1775. I did see that on there. So it's been in existence for a while. Next we have the U.S. Navy. All right. If you were in the Navy. Very good. We have two. Anybody else in the Navy? Is that all? Okay. Still in the, it's still, we have to fight. <laughs> we have to, they still had to fight, though, in the Navy, and we certainly do appreciate your services. Thank you for standing. Okay. U.S. Air Force. U.S. Air Force. Woo! Woo! Right. What's James waving about? We want to thank you for your service. Appreciate you being here today. You've all done a wonderful job serving your country. Thank you. Let's give them a hand. What did I? I missed the Coast Guard. Coast Guard? Marine? Yeah, I'm not through. But we had the Coast Guard too. The Coast Guard was in there too. Coast Guard? We have any that served the Coast Guard? Okay. We didn't have any present that did that. Okay. Marines, Marines. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Thank you, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service, Marine Corps. We want to thank you all for all you do and continue to do in the service of this country. We want to thank you, we thank God for you for being with us here this morning. We just ask that he continue to bless you in a special way. You all are very, very special people, whether you realize it or not. And Annie Ark, let us give thanks to our veterans. For those that did not come in through the uh, outer, uh, what you call it, Nartec, I want you to go out there and look at this tree and this table. And I want Nakia Jackson to stand up. Listen, she decorated that tree. She is so artistic. So if you need something done, just call on her. She can do all kind of creative things. You'd be surprised what she can do. We appreciate you. She's one of our young people coming along. God is good. Yes, he is. Okay. I think, was that all the, I need to do with that? I think, Sean, where's Sean? Okay. Okay. Now we're going to uh, recognize our visitors. That's, what's, that's one of the things that I'm up here for also. Yeah, let's get in position to sing our song. Very good. Okay, do we have any visitors with us? I had one to register, but if we have some more, anyone else visiting with us, would you please stand? We want to recognize our visitors all over the place. Okay, I have a, a Courtney, Cody. Bearden, and she's a guest of Selena Hill, and we just want to welcome her to our service today, and we hope that something is said that will uh, help you during the week, okay, and we thank you for coming, and Annie Ark, let us stand and welcome our visitors, because we know that the Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you.
Jesus in me. Does Jesus in you? Jesus in me. Does Jesus in you? So easy. So easy. So easy. Is love. Jesus in me. Does Jesus in you? Jesus in me. Does Jesus in you? So easy. So easy. So easy. Is love. Praises go up. Blessings come down. Blessings come down so easy, so easy, so easy. Is love? If I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, coming up to me. If I be lifted up. So easy, so easy, so easy, is love. Jesus in me, love Jesus in you, Jesus in me. Love Jesus in you so easy, so easy, so easy. Is love? When praises go up, blessings come down.
thank God this morning for our children and our youth. Don't they look good too in their blue? And our kids in their orange? How many thankful people do we have in the house? It is truly a blessing just to be back in God's house one more time. And our pastor gave us an assignment last week, and many of us have been talking about how difficult and challenging at times it can be to not ask God for anything, but to just thank God in everything. How many of you have found that to be challenging but yet an awesome thing. Darren and I several times this week we began to say something, oh Lord please, and we say, oh wait, wait, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you Lord for making a way out of no way. Thank you Lord for opening doors. Thank you for helping us not to cuss. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Can I just tell the truth? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is Youth Sunday. And we often talk about thank you in ways that we just, you know, someone opens the door for you and you say thank you. Someone allows you to go at the stop sign and we say thank you. But we want to make sure that our youth um, have a better understanding of what it means to not just be thankful to the people they come in contact with every day, but what it means to thank God as well. It's important that our young people of every age understand that we have to be thankful in everything. Everything may not, uh, what uh, I think Armani said this morning, or um, maybe it was Yvette that said, we may not always feel like saying thank you, but we need to have an attitude of thankfulness and gratitude to God. Amen. So we want to take this time this morning, we want all of the young people to stand up, um, all the children and youth, stand up, stand up because we want to, come on up here, everybody come, everybody come. We want to talk about thankfulness in a different way this morning. We want to play a game. Come on up, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Move quickly, expeditiously. Thank you. Thank you. We want to play a game called Thankfulness Bingo, and you guys, the adults, are going to help us with it. Okay? You can go ahead and pass them out. Everybody gets a card with things that you get to do in the audience. Everyone in the audience is going to participate. Can we have some more ushers to help her so that we can get these um, to them quickly? How many of you have your cell phones with you? Cell phones? You can use your cell phones. You don't have to, you don't have to act like y'all don't have them. Go ahead. You can tell the truth this morning. Pull them out. You can use them for this game, okay? For the younger people who may not be able to write or may not understand everything, parents, you can help them. But we have some things on here where they will come to people in the audience and you can help them with the things on their board. So you've seen like icebreakers where they come around and they ask you different questions and you sign if this box applies to you. So they may come and ask you, uh, one of the boxes says, write as many words as you can think of that are synonymous with thankfulness. We've talked about some this morning that you sung about, okay? There are some boxes where they have to name five hymns with the theme of thankfulness. They have to find scriptures that are centered on thankfulness. They have to talk about three ways that they can show thankfulness at school, at home, in the church, okay? Adults, make sure that when they come to you, did everybody get a piece of paper and pen? 
Thank you. When they come to you, you can only sign one box one time, okay? You can take out your cell phones. They have assignments where they're supposed to send somebody a text to say thank you. They may come and ask you to take a selfie with them if they're thankful for you. There's an assignment where they have to do two grandmothers and two grandfathers. You know, if they come to you and you're not a grandmother, grandfather, don't be offended, okay? <laughs> you look that good. They just are trying to complete these because the first one that completes it gets a prize, okay? All right? Are y'all willing to help the young people this morning? <laughs> Reverend Keys is going to play us some walking music. Who's cheating? Don't talk to people. No, you cannot talk to your mama, grandmama. Go to people that you are not familiar with, okay? All right? Parents, you can help your younger children. Ready, set, go. Adults, help them. Y'all can work together. Josiah, you can't talk to your mama. Somebody else. Does every young person have an adult to help them in case they have trouble reading some words? Come on, we got a prize to get. We got some deacons over here that need some uh, love. Yeah, y'all looking sad over here. It's some grandparents over here and some, some parents. Yeah, they want to help. You got to complete every square to get the prize. You can use your cell phones. Now look, there are some that you can answer on your own, okay? If you know five hymns or if you know all the scriptures, you can do that yourself. But if you don't know, have an adult work with you or one of the young people may know. All right? Y'all can tweet, snap, chat, IG, post. What's all these words that the young people use? You done with everything. Every, every box. Oh.
make up stuff. We can't verify it, okay? Now look, don't you Got them all done. They have to get all of the squares. All of the squares. If someone hasn't come to you and you know you can help them, go to them. They may be a little shy. Got some people that are close. Y'all better hurry up. Yep, you have to complete all the squares.
of course you can talk to your grandparents and parents just don't stay with them the whole time okay we're not forbidding you to talk to your people just don't stay with them the whole time we got some people that are close y'all better hurry up you done So on the question where it's talking about being inspired by people that are outside of the church, let's say you know Reverend Potter as a pastor in church, but he's a basketball coach outside of church, okay? You know Miss Asbury in church, but she's a teacher that inspired you outside of church, okay? So that's, the, that's where we're going with that, okay? You know Miss Sheila does banking and business outside of church so she inspired you as a church member okay that's where we're going with that all of our veterans may inspire you okay with what they do outside of these walls Y'all know catchy slogans like McDonald's is, I'm loving it, right? Come on, come on. We have two people. Two people, come on in the middle. Come on, Josiah. Josiah and why that? Give them a hand. Uh-uh, you don't have to. We have two people who have completed everything. Wait a minute. How many? I know you got more than one. You got to write several of them. <laughs> I'm having some reports of cheating. I got I'm having some. We're having technical difficulties. Some. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. They did a great job. Can we give them a hand, please? Did you? Okay, okay, okay. So, one of their questions was, write as many words as you can think of that are synonymous with thankfulness. Tell me some words that are on your paper. Grateful, happy, delighted. Come on, we sung some of those words this morning. Praise, glory, honor. 
happiness. Okay. One of the questions was, name three ways that we can show thankfulness without saying a word. Card, smile, a hug, what else? Clapping, attitude, our attitude can be good. All right. Okay, now I have a difficult one. One of the questions said, write about a difficult situation you had this week, but now you can thank God for it. What was that? Algebra test. It was hard, but now you can thank God that you made it through it, right? What were some other things? Yes. Appreciate, yes. What were some scriptures that have to deal with thankfulness? First Thessalonians. What else? Psalm 100. Nehemiah. Good. Let me see your selfies. The selfies. Got them? All right. Hold on, that's me and my bed, but she moved. Uh-huh. That's, that's me for Angie. I was thankful for her. That's me. And then that's me and Mr. Tisha. How many I'm youth leaders were y'all thankful for? All of them. All of them? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, what campaign ad did y'all come up with that yes, can show can. thankfulness? Yes, we can. All right. President Obama. Oh, that's me, isn't it? He got some good selfies. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. So my, my first three were YVET. Come on up, YVET. Come on, y'all. Clap it up for YVET. Josiah. Come on. Clap it up for Josiah. Josiah. Stand up there with, and then Marky, come on, come on. Okay, again, we got reports of cheating. Okay, okay, okay. That's all right. Y'all are brothers and sisters in Christ, and you can help each other. Help each other be great, okay? Can we, I just thank you all for participating. Yeah, clap it up for them. We want to do more. Y'all listen to me. We want to do more than just talk at you. We want to give you real life things that you can do outside of these doors how you can be thankful at school, at home, on the basketball court, how you interact with your parents. And we even want you to know that even when things are difficult, because it will be difficult sometimes, that you can still thank God anyway. One of the questions talked about naming two small things and two big things that you're thankful for. But that was a trick question because nothing is too small to thank God for, right? Thank y'all for participating. You can finally use your cell phones. Aren't y'all glad? Yes. Okay, I got prizes for y'all. Come on. Now. <laughs> Micah said he want to recount. First place, you get to choose. Okay. Second. We, and third. Okay. Now y'all, look. Y'all, hold on. Make sure, the, make sure the little kids get some too. Hey. Hey, hey. Okay. Hold on. 
Now, we ain't going to have no fight break out in the church now. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody, okay, how about you go back to your seats, and then we'll have the ushers bring it around to you, okay? I will. I will. Can we give them a hand again? Candy, will you pass it out to them? They did a great job. Thank you for helping them. We want to, they took, they took a lot of it. Go, go search them, search them and make sure they didn't, some of them don't have 10 or 11. Yeah, you're going to share like brothers and sisters that they are. Amen. They did a fabulous job. Can we, can we thank God for our young people? Nate is going to, Nate is going to um, lead our young people as they come for, actually, we got a song, don't we? Yeah, we got a song. Yes. Come on, Mary. And we got Josiah. Okay. Uh-huh. If there is anyone, how many of you are thankful? It's not just our young people that should be thankful. But God has been good to us. Amen. So let's join in with Mary and as she sings how good God has been to us. And then we'll move into our altar call, but the altar is open for the invitation. If there is one who doesn't know Jesus, you can come forward now. Tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases, people are slipping away. The economy is down, people can't get enough pay. But as for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Folks without homes are in the streets, and the drug habits, some say, they just can't be. Muggers and robbers, no place seems to be safe. But you've been my protection every step of the way. And I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah, yeah, hey, it could have been me outdoors with no food and no Just another number, but the tragic end. 
Thank you. Thank you, God. Josiah, come on. Josiah's coming for altar call and Marky. Marky. Um, I was just going to come up here and talk about uh, courage really quick before we pray. So before our game on Friday, our coach came and talked to us. The coach talked to us before every game about a story. And this week's topic was courage. And he said, uh, basically, four months ago, his, uh, he got, his wife got to a car accident with his son, and his son ended up not making it. And his son was one years old. And his wife is not supposed to make it either. And they said she's not ever going to walk again, not going to walk. She's going to be in rehab for a year before she even learns how to maybe talk again, all this other type of stuff. But basically, what ended up happening is he asked his wife to come, and she walked up there the same, very, the same day. She ended up walking. This was only four months ago, and they said she wasn't supposed to make it. So that's just a testament to courage and how God can do things that people don't see. Prayer circle? Okay. Um, we're going to do our prayer circle, so if anybody, everybody can. Huh? Yeah. Prayer circle, so if everybody can. Prayer circle. So everybody <laughs> getting their prayers to go. I don't know. Like we do four Sundays. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what? Okay, can we can we make sure that every every youth is in a prayer circle and the youth leads a prayer? God, during this season of Thanksgiving, we give you thanks for your blessings. Dear God, thank you for our homes, our food, our clothing, our shelter. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for being in their lives. Thank you for keeping them safe. Thank you for our church we attend. Thank you for our pastor, our leaders, our teachers, and our youth workers who prepare us for life. Thank you for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you for being in our lives the sick, those who have little. Thank you for everything you have gave us. May you be with us forever. We are forever grateful. Thank you for all you have gave us. We pray in your name, Jesus, Son, Christ, amen.
Can we thank God again for our youth? For Josiah and for Marky leading us in prayer. Come on, we have some awesome youth in our that aren't afraid to give God praise. And we are really excited about the new youth service that's getting ready to start. We are excited, excited, excited. And I'm excited that God doesn't leave you alone when you do, when you've been called to do something that you can have a great team around you that can help you to do the work. And so I'm grateful that uh, Nate, did you notice how Nate did most of the, where's Nate? Where'd Nate go? Stand up, Nate. Don't be trying to hide. We have an awesome young adult, Nate. Brittany wasn't able to be here, but Brittany's doing a great job as well. Can we thank God for Brittany? And I am so grateful to have Adrian working with us as well. Adrian, Adrian Jackson. Come on, stand up, brother. Come on, come on. These young people have some awesome ideas, some awesome gifts, some awesome talents. Thank God I'm not by myself. Adrian has talked about me so bad already because I don't know the lingo that they do these days. You know, but they will keep me young. And I'm so grateful to have these young people around me to help lead our young people into the future. They're not our future, they are today. And so we're grateful this morning. We're moving into the um, offering first. Okay. I wanted to do something. I'm begging again, so y'all get ready. I don't see Shelton here, Shelton Washington. But Shelton played ball for me when he was a kid. He played all the way through 12th grade, from around 4th or 5th grade through 12th grade. One of the things I asked my kids to do for me was when they grow up and make it, that they would turn and give back to the community. Well, Shelton is doing that. He has a 5th grade basketball team that I told him I would help him with. I don't know any other way to help kids. Many parents cannot afford to pay entry fees, buy uniforms, and things like that. All I got is you all. If you feel like you can help and you would like to give me a basket and you would like to help Shelton with this team, I know that I'll, some people already gave me some money for him. We already got that in place. But some things are going to come up through the year that he's going to need help with. And I'm just grateful that he's trying to teach these young boys not only about basketball, but about life. So if you can, that's number one. And if you will, number two, bless Shelton and his team during this offering time. Will everyone please stand, face your east wall, and obey your urshals from the rear.
Will everyone please bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for those who gave and did not give. Thank you for the special offering. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for food, water, shelter, and everything else, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 We do have a couple of shout-outs that we're sending in from parents who are very uh, proud of their young people. Will Gina and Veronica stand up, please? Oh, she's already standing. All right. Veronica received all A's. Come on. Good job. And Regina received all A's and was asked to be the peer teacher assistant for her math class. Good job, ladies. Alana and Aaron, stand up, please. Alana's on this side of me. Uh, Miss Alana received all A's and B's and was named alternate in the all city band. Come on, Alana. Mr. Aaron has all A's and B's. And the seventh grade Owasso football team won the championship last night. All right. Aaron leads his team to their first ever postseason championship and was named the MVP. Woo, woo. He rushed for 233 yards on 15 carries, three touchdowns, and two sacks. Okay, and it keeps going, one of which was a safety, one forced fumble, and the winning tackle for a loss to seal the deal. Okay, this is cute. It says he is known as the bus on the team because he will run the opponent over. All right. Great job, great job. And Miss Alana, um, stand up again. She has landed an audition with the Disney Channel and Gap Kids. <laughs> Disney Channel and Gap Kids for print modeling and an acting cameo in one of their kids series. Well, now. Okay, and then I just got another text. Aaron, stand up again. Aaron was just selected this morning to play as the starting running back for the Sooner Classic All-Star Game. Great job, y'all. Great job. And where's Jace? Stand up, Jace. You see Jace over there in the corner? Jace has been doing a great job with his grades. He has all A's and B's. All right, Jace. And he has the highest test scores in third grade for math and reading at his school. Come on, Jace. Come on, Jace. Come through, Jace. And then, okay, I'm steadily receiving texts. Mari, stand up. Where's Mariana? In the back, she has four A's, two B's, and one C. All right, now. Good job, Mari. Good job. Come on and give thanks for all of our young people. What a wonderful, wonderful blessing they are to us. And we thank God for them. Thank God. Um, yeah. Come on, 
y'all. Yeah. Come on. In the playoffs. I don't have a clue. You and Joseph. They they made the what? Oh, Marky and Josiah made it to the playoffs, right? <laughs> Josiah's playing for Owasso, and Marky's playing for Booker T. He scratched his head like, you know who I play for. You know who I play for. I'm surprised he didn't have his ring on saying, you know who I play for. All right, he said they're going for another ring. Come on and thank God for them. Y'all don't have to be shy about saying what great things you're doing. Don't be shy about that. Let everybody know we're proud of you and we want to support you and encourage you. And then, where's the Chaya? She's in the house studying, but she has a 4.0 at Booker T. Her mama just let me know. Awesome. We have some great young people. We do want to thank God for our young women's auxiliary yesterday who did a wonderful presentation on domestic violence. And um, the, um, it was called You're Worth It. Kim Daniels did a great job again. Wave at us, Kim. She always does a wonderful job um, not only presenting the information but presenting it in a way that we um, as spiritual people can be fed and so we're grateful for her and all that she is to this church. Thank God for the Young Women's Auxiliary, for the sponsors, for Danielle and for um, Nikki for their leadership and um, the angel tree is out there. It's that time of year for the angel tree. We got them to you early this year, amen. So you can take that to your Black Friday shopping, which is actually September shopping now. I don't know how we keep going further and further back, but that is another thing for another day. But we uh, stopped by the desk out in the Nartec for, uh, they calling it Operation Smile. Is that what you said, Sure. Operation Smile, and then also the I Am A Promise um, our after-school program that we always are so gracious and supporting, they also have their Angel Tree, um, Angel Tree students available. So please pick up one if you haven't done already um, when you came in this morning. Again, we want to remind you that next Sunday we will be meeting with the Youth Pastors Board so they can help us to plan these youth services. And also, Brittany has planned a wonderful interreligious uh, tour, interfaith religious tour that's sponsored by OCCJ. That is next Sunday as well. That will be immediately after service at 12.30 p.m. We will provide a light snack for them, but parents, we need you to sign up today. Let us know. If you don't sign up today, you can email me or Lisa um, or Brittany and let us know that you want to go, but we do ask, again, that you let us know so that we can have enough food and transportation for everyone. This is an interfaith tour, and so we'll be going to not only a church, but we'll be going to um, a Jewish temple and an Islamic mosque. And so we have to be, um, and it's for youth, and so it's a great thing for them to be able to learn about um, other religions and be respectful so that we don't have things happen like what happened in our community. Amen. Um, parents, we do ask that you ensure that your child dresses modestly. Young ladies wear long pants and or skirts, and we will need to wear a head covering for the Islamic Center. But then um, young men, we're asking that you wear long pants. We know it's winter season, but just make sure that they go to your ankles so we can be respectful of each religious space. Amen. Then the youth ministry, along with, we're excited about this, along with the Southern Hills Baptist Church, we're going to see the movie The Hate You Give because we want to have an open, candid conversation with our young people um, about some of the challenges that we have. If you have not, if you don't know what that movie's about, I um, sent the email this week and it's a trailer where you can see about it. But again, we need to know ahead of time, parents, this will be the first Sunday in December. That's December the 2nd. So all of us are going to watch the movie together and then we're going to ice cream to talk about it and um, have further dialogue. So again, you can let me, Brittany, or Lisa know that. You can email us, but we need to know for food and transportation with that as well. Today, Reba Dells is having another family dinner. 
She's asking you to come and join her for $10 for dinner and $3.50 for dessert. Um, she's serving chicken and dressing, chicken and dressing, fish, ham, green beans, yams, macaroni and cheese, cabbage with cornbread or dinner rolls, and desserts. And again, it started at 10 a.m. until the food is sold out. So please support her in that as well. And Reverend Potter is coming to finish us out. I dare not let this morning go without celebrating Andrea. I'm excited with what she is doing with the young people and even look forward to much more that she will do in these coming days. Uh, if you really enjoyed what I asked of you on last Sunday, leading up to Thanksgiving, to simply give thanks, to not go ask God for anything. If you really enjoy that, then I want you to come to the adult prayer meeting this Wednesday night. I'd like to see every adult who's sitting here now in that prayer meeting. You may not ever come again, but for this time, come. Because we want to join as, an, as the adult part of this church in giving God thanks. I'm even going to extend the prayer meeting until 645. So we're going to go an extra 15 minutes or so because there's something that I'm excited about that I'm going to do afterward. I'm going to raise and answer the question, what is truth? So join us Wednesday night for prayer meeting. This one time, if you don't ever come back, six o'clock for prayer. I mean, if you don't come back again, I'm going to be mad, but I, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> but do come this Wednesday night so that we as adults of this church, did not the youth do a good job on last Wednesday? <laughs> and I was glad to see the number of parents and adults who were here to support them in that. So let's come and do that on this Wednesday. Remember we're not asking God for anything, but praying, giving him thanks all the way up to Thanksgiving. And I, you know, I found it to do this for me. It took the stress out of prayer for me. Does that make sense? No. I, you know, I, I had to stop and realize that when I got through praying, just giving thanks, I wasn't as stressed out and wearied as I was when I was asking God this for my grandchildren and this for my children and this for the church and then I'm wondering is he going to do it or will they let him do it and I was just worn out but just to give thanks took that stress away and I leave prayer it's not even as long anymore <laughs> prayer is pretty quick now thanks, 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 thanks and I'm through asking God for stuff I had to go through Marcus and Marion and Marla and Marky and Corey and Dee and <laughs> But to give thanks God for being in their lives was all I had to ask. So join us this Wednesday for prayer and I hope it's working for you as it worked for me. Is that it? Oh yeah. There is one more community meeting for what we will do with, uh, what we will recommend for TPS to do with the Seventh Grace Center. And I think it's really important, again, that we be there because after all these task forces and meetings and whatevers, our children are still behind on the north side. We're hoping that this time a difference is made. Matter of fact, we're going to demand this time that a difference is made. We're going to demand that TPS stop playing games with us and educate our children. I don't hear nothing about no budgets. I don't hear nothing about no facilities. I don't hear nothing about nothing, but we're going to educate the kids on the north side. I don't want them to talk about the teachers are leaving and the teachers don't want to go to the north side. Hey, I don't hear any of that. We're going to make a recommendation. We want you to educate our children, and we're going to demand that. So come out and join us in that. Seven o'clock. I'm, I'm just missing it today. 
7 p.m. at Vernon AME Church there on Greenwood, right across from the Culture Center. Today. Today. That's today, 7 o'clock this evening. Is that Dallas Cowboys time? <laughs> Don't forget, parents, we are asking that you um, let your children stay. What age group? Okay. All the children and youth, please stay for about an hour after service so that we can begin working on our Christmas uh, play. Parents, again, it only lasts for about an hour, and you do have food for them, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's stand for the benediction. Lord, we thank you in everything today. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Thank you for letting us go from this place and coming back at the appointed time. In Jesus' name, let all of God's people say, Amen. Amen.